Alright, so it's June 4th and this is the Arising Church. We are erecting a tent, a 4,000 square foot tent in our pastor Nick Slaughter's backyard. And this is a little video to show you what's happening and a few puns because I'm the one editing the video and I can do that. Get ready for some dirty jokes. There's so many dirt jokes, I feel like I'm entrenched by them. What type of jacket does a dirt wear? Is it a trench coat? Some jokes are more serious than others. You might say my dirt jokes are pretty deep. Wait guys, don't leave me, don't ditch me. My relationship with this hole, I don't know, it's pretty rocky. <laughs> I have to log all the hours we're working on the new church with. Do you think these chairs are made out of seat tur wood? We have to go to the bank for a loan because I see we've got another branch. This is where the tent goes. I'd stake my life on it. You know, I look European, but I'm not Polish. Hey, Josh, what is Pitbull's favorite farm equipment? Is it a Dale? Hey, I aren't you glad I showed up today? I'm still waiting for you to do something. I'm scared to say another joke. You might say I'm a little chicken. I did have a good joke, but I am now stumped so I can't say it but these are in my way so you gotta leave me alone tree so I can branch off and say another one to see a hundred and some odd people all work together and get things that would take weeks or months to do by yourself some things that aren't even possible to do by yourself and to watch people work in unity Harmony, all in one accord, with one mind, one purpose. I think there's something really heavenly about that. You know, when we're making the tent, we're definitely raising the stakes. That's true. <laughs> Zach, I'm very proud of how hard you're working today. Really? I'd help you with what you're doing, but I think we'd go at the same speed. You'd say we were tied. Don't worry, I'm not gonna post this. You got a joke? Cause I don't. There's no puns in tented. Hey Nick, if my jokes are cheesy and I'm trying to help set up the tent, is it a Philly cheese steak? Hammer time. Who do you think is doing more work? I don't know, let's take a poll. We finished with that, does that make it a post-production? <laughs> you know, if I had more energy, I'd help you. I'd be wired. Dude, I love the work you're doing. You're a staple of this whole project. I'd say a point about what you're doing, but it wouldn't make the cut. So focused, Lindy, I'd say you were gunning for the prize. <laughs> that's a gun. That's a gun in her hand. That's, that's what it was a pun. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, that, that. Staple gun. That. Staple, staple gun. gun. Now that I know you, I'm filled up with your joy. Now that I know you, I'm filled up with your joy. This is a great thing. I mean, here we are, we're erecting this tent. It's a new experience. The city and the neighborhood is going to hear the praises of God going up before the Lord. I'm not really good on camera, but I'm just really excited to see what God's going to do. A ton of people here, so it's a good turnout. And uh, I know we all appreciate getting together, being able to lend a hand and, and just spend a little time with each other and, and make things happen for the kingdom. This is an adventure, right? This is, this is awesome. This is what it's all about. This is the kingdom of heaven. This is church. This right here is church. So we're going to have church at our house. Why are we going to do church at your house, Caleb? Um, because I think God called us to. Oh, we know.
toe one. Hey, Garrett, you got to be intentional about where you're putting up all this stuff. That's intense. If we did everything right the first time, would it be perfect tense? Ooh, man, we already put it up. I guess it'd be past tense. Oh, is that a present tense? An Indian guy goes to a psychiatrist. He's having this horrible dream. One night he dreams he's a TP. The next night he dreams that he's a wigwam. Doctor says, relax, relax. You're just too tense. Linda, you need to lighten up. You're too tense. <laughs> he's Willin' and Dylan. A joke that good comes punts in a lifetime. You would say a joke I've already said. Why are you guys building a fence? It's not a penitent tree. I love this piece of wood right here. It was a great idea. Do you dig dirt puns? Do you think a digger's favorite food is a pickle? Did you hear about the wood chip that asked the other wood chip on the date? Yeah, he got dumb. What's a landscaper's favorite sport? Is it rake it all? We need two people to check the sound on the stage. You think you can duet? That's fine. It's I fine. I don't like all... that it's staged. Go to the fan. I'm a fan of that idea. Christiane is brushing up on her paint jokes. We both know you're good at painting, so I'm not gonna stroke your ego about it. Some days I like music and other days I can't stand it. Why can't you tell what type of hair a tent has? Because it's always wearing a wig wom. If we plant near the church, is it kind of like being seated in heavenly places? Did you know that you can't run through a campsite? You can only ran because it's past tense. What's an octopus's favorite structure? Is it a tent because it has tent tickles? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did you rope us into this? Man? <laughs> Why would you do this to us? I don't even know what to say. How embarrassing. <laughs> Why would you even do something like that? I'm just raising the stakes on tent puns. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. We're out of here. Cause you are for us. You are not against us. No. You're a God who cares. You're a God who has forgiven Oh, all my sins Oh, you're on our side You're on our side Oh Welcome to Table in the Wilderness Glory to God He's supplied for us again this week and I, I love it when we get a chance to see the lines blurred between the fact that the church isn't a permanent building. We're the church. And this is temporary. We're being refined. We're being worked on. But every once in a while you get this picture of a heavenly building of people coming together and being assembled and doing amazing work that only a live church could do. Not a dead, but a live church. And it's beautiful to watch these people work harder and better together than they could apart. That's what the kingdom is all about.